This is Twit. And this brings us to the perfectly named website, <laughs> udm14.com, which our prolific Twitter poster, Simon Zarafa, tweeted to me. Thank you, Simon. Recall that when the string UDM equals 14 is included, you know, appended to a Google search query, it serves as a shorthand asking Google to return its search results in what they term web search mode. Among many other things, their AI overview system is not consulted in that case. From that page um, at udm14.com, I discovered another site named 10bluelinks.org. And of course, 10 Blue Links is reminiscent of what Google was you know, decades ago, back when I first discovered it and, and, and sent that second email from GRC's first email system out back then when no one had ever heard of Google. 10 Blue Links was what you got on the page. Um, so... 10bluelinks.org, which, with just a few clicks of the mouse, allowed me to instantly and, you know, as permanently as I want, switch my default Google search to Google web mode search in Firefox. For example, for Firefox on Windows or Mac OS, the instructions are just, you visit 10bluelinks.org, then you right click in the address bar and you get a drop down menu which is enhanced by this site you'll at the bottom it says add google web so you 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 click on that then you open the hamburger menu in the top right corner choose settings and then and then click on search on the left and then in the default search engine you will now have a new entry google web which you then select and you're done. Now Firefox will use by default until you change it, this Google web mode search for all your browser searches. Um, you know, and, and, and when I first read the instructions, I thought, what? But sure enough, you just go to this website and it adds this cool option in the, in, in the, the drop down menu from right clicking in the address bar the, the URL field, and then allows you to make it your default. Uh, they've got instructions for Chrome on Android, Chrome on iOS, uh, Chrome on Windows or Mac, and Firefox on Windows and Mac. So anyway, again, I, I commend our listeners, uh, 10bluelinks.org. It's a, a very cool uh, site. You don't actually get the overview on your Google search, do you? Um, I actually, I don't think I've ever seen one yeah. yet. So that's what happened was it was part of Google's experimental labs. You could turn it on there. And then briefly, they made it default. And that's when they got in all the trouble. It's turned off now, I believe. I oh, see it's no still kidding. in labs. Yeah, I don't think anybody's actually getting it anymore. So they backed out. Oh, of almost its, immediately. Of full... Yeah, yeah. They said, oh, whoops. But Google keeps doing that. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I don't it's amazing they just keep happening to them but I don't I don't think anybody's getting that uh now unless you turn it on specifically Interesting yeah. so so the so so the I don't know if reports. UDM for, uh, 14 is different than that I think it is cuz then I, I think you also don't get the knowledge graph and the Correct. Su suggested links and all that stuff so it's still worth doing Correct. that yeah And all of the image search stuff and yeah, yeah. and all the other junk right. yeah yeah, well, it, yeah, so, so, so the UDM 14, and which is to say, you know, invoking the Google web mode search one way or the other, it definitely cleans that up and suppresses all yeah, that. Yeah, I stopped using yeah. Google search a year ago, so this, none of this affected me, but uh, I use, I use co cocky, I pay for it, because I don't want ads, and I, and I think it's right. compromising, uh, it's just terrible. Yep. Well, it has it has compromised Google search, right? I Clearly. mean, it's completely skewed. It's it's completely skewed what they return. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.